posted a picture of my new shooting buddy on Instagram and Facebook this morning and I said I needed some names. The name that won by a landslide was Lieutenant Dan. Cause he ain't got no legs. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Now that the channel has grown, I get a lot of stuff in the mail. This box came in the mail and I wasn't really sure what it was. And I opened it up and was surprised to see that someone had sent me all their old pills. Which is not only not needed, it's probably illegal. Um, but upon further inspection, I found out these are not medications. They are muzzle brakes. These are from Ares Armor. And what's cool about these muzzle brakes is you can see they have a bunch of holes all in them. And you can plug these holes with these. There's little set screws for every hole. And you can plug all of them, none of them, or certain ones so that you can direct where you want that force from the gun blast to go to help keep your muzzle in the right place. So these are tunable muzzle brakes. This one is 556. This one is 308. You see that bigger hole there? Then we have 9mm and 7.62x39. So I have a 5.56 and a 308 gun here, and I'm gonna do a few tests to see how these muzzle brakes work. Hope Lieutenant Dan doesn't mind, but I drew a little definition on his chest and abdomen. I'm gonna use these awesome abs to see how far the muzzle rises. I'm gonna put the muzzle right here with the guns, fire any bullet that way. And we'll see, using this GoPro set at 120 frames per second, how much it rises or falls or whatever. First up, I have all the holes totally open. This is 5.56. And I'm going to try to hold it the same every time just to keep it semi-scientific. Put it right here, and here we go. I'm just holding it with one hand. Okay. Here's the 308 with all the holes open. This one's a little too heavy to hold with one hand, so burned a little bit on him. I'm gonna hold it just right here, right in front of the magazine. <laughs> so here's what these little plugs look like. They're just little Allen heads, and I'm just screwing them all in. Right now, I am just filling the bottom and the sides. So this row, this row, and this row are open. All the other ones are plug closed. So all that blast should come up this way, pushing the barrel down this way. And it's probably a little too much. It's probably gonna push it too low, but we'll find out. I have it set up this way on the 5.56 and the 308. So I hope you guys can see this. This is the bottom. These are plugged. And then up top, right there, they are open. It's gonna be pretty hard to see, but basically this row, this row, and this row are open. All the others are plugged up closed. So all of our blast is gonna direct straight up. I'm gonna hold it like this. Yeah, they kicked it way down. Normally when you shoot a gun, they kick up. And so most muzzle devices are made to force that blast up. We obviously were just forcing way too much up, so the gun kicks down now. Let's try the 308. That one wasn't too bad, stayed pretty still. I'm gonna try something a little pointless right now. I'm gonna spin this thing around because it's not tightened on there. So now all the force will be coming straight out of the bottom. So not only will you naturally have the tendency for the gun to tip up just because the barrel is higher, it will also tip up because all this force is going to be coming out of the bottom of the barrel, pushing the top, pushing the front of the barrel up. So this one should really rise when I fire it. All right, let's see how far this barrel comes up. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good rise. Now I have every single hole filled with a plug. So there's gonna be no gas coming out of this part. It'll all be coming out the end of the barrel that way. And you can see that was rising a lot.
Same thing on the 308. All of them are filled. Let's see how much it rises. I hope you didn't think that was all I was going to do because we are about to get messy. I have taken these watermelons, I have cut holes through the center, straight through, and what I'm going to do is take that muzzle brake and that barrel, stick it about halfway through so the midpoint will be right there, that's where the end of the muzzle brake will be, and I will fire the gun and see how adjusting those little gas ports affect how the small watermelons explode. Seems like a pretty scientific test to me. Since the muzzle brake is all plugged, I will just do this one first. Five, five, six. I feel like I'm gonna regret this. Oh, totally regret it. In fact, soaked in watermelon juice. <laughs> this is gross. Oh, totally regret it. And the 308. That actually, I noticed it did muffle that sound, so maybe watermelons will make for pretty good suppressors. Here we go. Oh man, that was gross. Oh, I bet I smell so good right now. So all of them are closed now, except for the very top row. So all the force is gonna go straight up. My plan was to do that first one and show that it didn't blow up the watermelon very much, but instead it totally exploded the watermelon. So this one is just kinda, I don't know. It's just to make it more of a mess and show you how dumb I am. Here we go. Oh, so gross. Oh, so gross. Same on this one. Oh, God. <laughs> there were pieces of watermelon coming down from that tree. <laughs> this is so gross. Oh, not that bad. So my plan was to go home, take a shower, get all the stickiness off me. I'm I'm literally disgusting. Change clothes, and then wash my guns. But that would have taken me a couple hours. And then I thought. There's a river right here. So I unloaded my guns and I'm just gonna do it all here. It'll save me so much time. drying off myself as well as my guns before I get back in my truck. And I'm actually gonna be giving away three of these brakes. I'm gonna keep the 308 for myself. I'm gonna give away this 556 for the AR. I'm gonna give away the 7.62 by 39 for the AK and the nine millimeter. If you want to win one of these brakes, the way you do it, I'm trying to grow my Instagram and my Facebook pages. Go to the Instagram and Facebook pages and post a picture of the gun that you would want to have if you heard someone outside your door about to bust into your house. He is coming to do some terrible things to you. What gun do you want to protect yourself, your family, your stuff, whatever? And I need you to put which brake you want. The best of each category will win the brake. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Glad you're here, always glad you're here, and I will see you next time. Contact! <laughs> what about the quad? Don't move! Don't move!
Bobby!